All right, guys, today is, I've been meaning to make this video for a long time. This is my CRT collection video. And I was kind of debating, you know, how do I do this? You know, it's kind of hard to show them all because they're all just <laughs> all over my house. And I didn't really want to move them all into one room and go really into depth about each one. I basically just going to show you each one. Um, if I have anything to say about it, then I will quickly um and if i can remember where i got it or if there's an interesting story behind where i got it then i will say that as well so i figured and this has been in a collection this has been a collection probably accumulating for like i don't know probably like eight years seven years but anyway this was my first one that's why i'm starting with it it's a quasar don't know the model number, 13 inch, and I use it for all my Atari stuff. And yeah, it's, I've had it the longest. My first one I got, it got me into all this. And I originally just got it to play NES, like the Zapper and everything like that. And yeah, now it's just my Atari TV and I still love it to this day. It's my first one I ever got. I got it at a local church sale actually. And I didn't get it for free, but it was probably like five bucks. And then, I'm just gonna kind of just do clips as I need to, just because some are in completely different rooms and other things. So yeah, I use this one all the time, probably at least once every couple days, and it's been awesome for, yeah, the eight years or whatever. And I also have a Vectrex, and you will see I do have another one of these, assuming that I remember. I'm sure I'm gonna miss some CRTs in this video, but whatever, it is what it is. Vectrex, I just got this one at Marketplace, uh, maybe a couple months ago. And I paid maybe like $300, but it had a ton of games and a bunch of other stuff. So I was really excited and happy to get it. Because I was mainly looking for games, and there's some of the games there. But yeah, it works great. And here's my Gateway, which I do use this. This is my main computer. Uh, this is the Gateway VX700. Just all around the best CRT computer monitor that I've found so far. It doesn't have like a big bubble or anything it's it's very nice i do like it this i got if i can remember i'll show the box i got it in the original box with the computer that was came with it too um, and in the state sale again this is a i've had this for a really long time probably like at least six years or so but yeah anyway i use it you know all the time so <laughs> um yeah it's not much else to say and I used to have another monitor before I got, I finally upgraded my LCD monitor to 4K, but that's besides the point. Um, I actually had this monitor to the side because I used to have a smaller main monitor. It's an Emmy Vision, and I got it, I actually, this is in a YouTube video, and I only had it set up for maybe like a month or so. Now it's just on the floor here, but um, it was new old stock when I got it. But I opened it up, and yeah, it's a really nice monitor. I just don't have a use for it right now. And then, right by my computer setup, <laughs> I have a PVM. And again, I believe... Or no, I don't believe I made a video on this one yet. But this was... Oh yeah, that monitor right there was a garbage find, if you didn't see the video. This PVM I got on Marketplace for $150 about a year ago. Maybe two years ago now, I don't know, but... The lady didn't know if it worked. She was asking way more, and I said, I'll tell you what, if you let me come over and I can test it, I will give you $150. She said no, and then a couple weeks later, she wrote me back and said, hey, you know, come try it. If it works, you can have it for $150. So I did, and it's awesome. I don't really have anything hooked up to it right now, but I do randomly just hook up a system. I'll just set it on my desk right here, and I'll play on my PVM if I want to, but... Yeah, this is probably, like, technically the holy grail of my collection, but, um, yeah, I really do like it. It's, it has an amazing picture. Um, personally, I feel like, especially if you're just getting started, please don't chase one over after one of these things. Just get a consumer set to start, and if you come across a good deal on one, then pick it up. Otherwise, I don't know. Like, these things go for, like, a lot, so I don't know if it's worth it, but... Anyway, I love it. It's missing the Sony logo, so maybe one day we'll be able to complete that. But anyway, here it is. So it's a 13 inch and it's awesome. So that's all the CRTs that are in my room. Or no, I almost forgot one. There's one more CRT, <laughs> technically. 
This is an iMac G3. It's under where all my sweatshirts hang. And I've had it, I got it at a garage sale for $20 and I've had it for probably five years and I never use it. And I used to have it on display at my computer desk where this monitor is. I move stuff around a lot. So I used to have that on display, but now I don't. So yeah, that's all the CRTs in my room. Let's move on to other areas and see the other CRTs. All right, so now we're in our basement. Um, I just realized that I shot that last part, um, like not, I'm using my phone, so I wasn't holding it the right way, but whatever, I don't really feel like refilming it, so it is what it is. Anyway, this is a big, <laughs> literally a big AF Toshiba, it's the AF series, and this I made a video about, I got it at a church sale for like $8 or something, and it's awesome. I don't use it, <laughs> I know, I have a lot of CRTs that I don't use, but... I do randomly just pull them out and use them just when I feel like it. But anyway, it's more about, this is like my backup. If my main Trenatron that I use right now dies or starts having issues, this will be the one that I pull out to replace it. And speaking of this, I recently got a 20 inch version of basically the same thing. It's another, if my phone will focus, there we go. It's another AF Toshiba, but this one, has been RGB modded. Not by me, by somebody that I know. But anyway, it's hard to see there, but it's RGB modded and it again looks awesome. So yeah, I guess I have a little collection of those. I have two that look pretty much identical, just one's RGB modded and 20 inches. And yeah, I paid $60 for this set modded. So I felt that was that was well worth it because I didn't feel like trying to do it myself. I'm sure I would mess it up in some way. And here is some more like computer monitor kind of stuff. So these three monitors here are for like the... All right, so my phone just ran out of storage and I'm sick of deleting stuff. So now I'm using the camera. So if you're wondering why it looks different, that's why. But as I was saying, these Atari ST monitors are all here and they all use RGB. Um, what's the model numbers? This is an SC1224. And so is that, and so is that. But this one looks a little different. I don't know why it does, but it does. Um, this one I got with this Mega ST4 on Marketplace. Um, this one, I mean, I don't know which one is which, but one of these I got, I'm trying to, I got one at a recycling center. They gave it to me for free. I don't know where I got this other one. <laughs> it, it just, I don't know, it just appeared, but anyway. Three of those, I know I probably need to sell one, but I really do like them, and they're pretty hard to find, believe it or not, even though I have three of them. But yeah, they're pretty cool, 13 inch. And then this is one of those Apple um, little RGB displays that have their proprietary, I don't remember how many pins it is, but their connector for the old Macintosh computers. So yeah, I just have that for those. It's pretty yellowed, has a little crack in the bezel, but it's something, it does work. And it looks pretty good. Over here, on the ground, we have this ancient Magnavox CRT that I got an estate sale for like, literally like maybe less than $5. And it works like surprisingly well. I thought um, for sure, I know it's not the smartest thing to just plug these in, especially with how old this is, but I just did. And it's it works pretty well. I've used it a couple times. But, um, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be wanting, like, the model numbers and stuff. I just don't feel like, I don't know, it's just, I don't feel like doing it that properly. Maybe I'll do, like, a video where I, like, take each one and go all the way around and look at them all in depth. This is just a quick video just so you guys can see, like, what kind of CRTs that I do have. And then there is a CRT in my Jaguar kiosk. Don't know what it is. It has a 9-pin RGB connector on the back. And yeah, I've been looking for another one because it's awesome and I really can't find one. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and I have a Gorilla War arcade cabinet. And that also has a CRT in it, just some kind of arcade monitor. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're just anything that has a CRT, we're going to mention in this video. Um, I have this little Magnavox. It's actually an amber CRT. So it has, it's just black and orange and it's amazing. Um, 
I got this with a Commodore lot on Marketplace maybe a couple years ago. Um, this was another video I made about this one. This little Sony, I think it's a 9 inch, something like that. Um, got it at a garage sale for like $10 or less, and it's awesome. And here's my Commodore SX64, which I got at my local f indoor flea market for, I think, like $50. It doesn't work, but I think I am going to try to repair it one day. It's missing the cable for the keyboard as well, which really, really sucks. But I'll just show you guys this little CRT. There it is. <laughs> So, yeah, really cool. Maybe I'll make a video on fixing this thing one day, if it ever gets fixed. Um, I'm just kind of afraid to open it, I guess. I'm always, with these old Commodore and other computers, I'm always just afraid of um, the screw posts and stuff like that breaking. There we go. Okay. And then I have these closets right here. Well, actually, first, I guess we'll turn around to the these CRTs. I made a video about this one not super long ago. It's Montgomery Ward. CRT, it's still here. It's still looking awesome. And I did get a prison CRT, and this may be a video soon. Um, I don't plan on making videos on all of these, by the way, but I think this one's really cool. I mean, it's really not cool. It's just cool because it's clear. It has, like, the people's, like, prison information on it. And it has the manual, which is shocking to me. Like, how did that stay with it? But anyway, really cool. I got this. It's like a some weird brand, yeah, like a Heath monitor. Just thought it looked really cool. Um, let's see the inputs on that one. It just has like composite, but it's or no, it's RF only. Oh, I remember it had composite, but I guess not. It's RF. I just got this one like maybe three months ago out of the trash. This one was an estate sale. I keep forgetting where I'm getting all these. Um, I paid like. Ten dollars for it, and then this one was given to me by someone I know. So, and then right here, I have a Commodore 64 set up with a 1701 monitor. Um, I know this camera is really bad in low light, even though we're there's literally lights everywhere. But so I apologize for it being hard to see, but. Yeah, it's a 1701 monitor, and I have three more of these because I have problems. So we're gonna see more of them in, coming up here. Here's the Apple Monitor 3. It looks awesome. I will turn it on now. Because you guys need to see this. I really do like these like displays that look like this. Like it's just the sharpest thing you're ever gonna see. Like, let's run a game here. Like, this is like, if you guys have never seen one of these CRTs, this is like the sharpest CRTs you're ever going to see in your life. Like, it, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's awesome. You basically, like, these are amazing. I really do love this setup, and this is probably, I know it's weird, this is probably one of the favorite CRTs that I own, just for how sharp it is. But... Anyway, um, this Apple's whole setup here was actually bought on Marketplace. I believe, yeah, I did make a video on that. I'm pretty sure. That's where I got the Ultima in the box, but yeah, so there's a video on that. If you want to see, watch it. My Commodore monitors, one was it from a garage sale. I'm trying to remember. I haven't gotten one in a really long time. It's been years, years and years since I've gotten a Commodore monitor. Um, this, I mean, I don't know which one was which. I got one at a garage sale. I actually did sell one, so I would have had four if I didn't sell one. I got one at a garage sale. Um, and it was funny because we asked the guy, and he's like, oh, I have a Commodore monitor, but it's at my house and like an hour away. And I'm like, okay, whatever, we're not going to get it. But he actually texted me back the next day, and he brought it to the sale, so I was actually able to get it. And he's, I'm like, what do you want? He's like, $20. I'm like, okay. One I got at my flea market in the box, and we're going to see that one soon. And the other one was just with a Commodore 64 lot that I got. So, yeah, I'm going to open those doors. My dog's barking, so i got to let my dog out, and I'm going to open those doors, and we'll see what's in there. 
Okay, so the doors are open. Um, real quick, I did forget to mention this little Apple display down here. It's just like the one that I have with my Apple III, but this one, the screen like pivots. So that's pretty cool. So I have that. And then now for in here, again, very hard to see, I know. Up here, we have IBM's first monitor. So that's really cool. I have no way in testing it, it's missing the knobs because I don't have an IBM 5160 to try it on and or anything compatible with it. But it is there and when I find a 5160 one day, which will hopefully happen, then it's there. So yeah, maybe one day we'll get to try that thing out. And if I do, I will make a video about it. it even still has the Polaroid like, anti-glare thing on it still. And then this is a IBM computer monitor. Um, it's like the PS2 series or whatever. Pretty cool. Um, God, you really can't see anything on the screen. It does not look dark at all in real life, but um, this is like a wood grain Zenith CRT 13 inch. We got that in a state sale. I forgot to mention where I got those other ones. We got this one at a state sale for, I don't know, it wasn't very much. This one I got um, out of someone's trash, and this IBM I got at, I don't know if you know what this is, but it's called Habitat for Humanity. It's like a, basically just like a Goodwill, but they take computer stuff, and um, I've had I've had it for a long time, probably like six years, but yeah, it's been, it's been sitting forever, and I hope to one day be able to use it. Here's my SpongeBob CRT. I made a video on that. I'm actually going to pull my phone out here. Use the flashlight. There we go. Look at that. SpongeBob, the Zenith. Now we can see a lot better. So down there is the Commodore 1702. So basically the same thing as the 1701, but it's a little newer. This is a Panasonic 1331. And it's weird. I got it at a church sale. And um, there's a video on the SpongeBob CRT, by the way, if you want to see more about that. But this was at a church sale years ago. And it has BNC connectors, which is why I've kept it for so long. And I do think it, the image is pretty cool. So I just think it's cool, basically. It doesn't look cool, but it actually kind of is. And speaking of CRTs that are just cool because they have BNC connectors, um, it's still just composite, but it's just cool that they had the BNC on there. Are some Panasonics of a very similar kind of range. These are thir that's a 1386 bunch of composite inputs with the BNC connectors and here's the Panasonic CT2086Y um, or whatever but that's like a 20 inch or 19 inch this is like a 13. And beneath all of those sorry I don't feel like pulling all this out but there's a Samsung surveillance monitor but again it's just composite but it does have BNC connectors and it looks incredibly sharp for some reason and it's very cool. And it looks, it's kind of like if you want to look like you have a professional, like, broadcast monitor or something, you could use that. And you think you look cool, but really just a peasant. But anyway, I do really like it, though. Like, but you, you just don't see those. And I got that out of the garbage years ago. These two were both estate sales. Um, here's an iMac G3 in the box. It's a green one, actually. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's, I got it for free out of someone's trash again. I know it's a common theme. Someone took it all apart and took out the motherboard and the hard drive. So obviously it doesn't work, but I'm hoping to complete it one day. And maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, and then that very, the very bottom there, it's going to be hard to see this one. This is a really cool one though. It's one of those... Apple Studio displays, and it looks awesome. It's just VGA. I'm not gonna really get it, but it's one of those ones with like the big, like three legged stands on the bottom. It's paired with the G3. I got both of those for free, um, and that was awesome. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about it. It's really cool. I would use it in my desk upstairs, but I just don't. It's just so big. I just don't have the space. But one day it will be used, maybe. <laughs> um, 
Here's the Sony that we made a video on. I'm not going to say much about it. Check the video. We got an estate sale for like 20 bucks. Um, here's the 1702 in the box that I got at the flea market. It's in perfect condition. It has the foam and everything. I love it. So, yeah. So that's basically all the CRTs in this area. But we are not done. Let's move to the next section. I just realized when I was closing the doors that we overlooked the Sony Watchmen. Pretty cool. And this little stupid, one of those late 2000s black and white little CRTs that I use for testing things. I have a little portable generator when I'm buying like video game consoles. I like to use that to test things out just because it's not worth anything and it's light and easy to travel with. So yeah, let's move to the next area as I said before. Alright, now we're to some CRTs that I actually use now <laughs> on um, a daily basis, but um, if you guys are familiar with the channel, you will easily recognize these next couple. Um, I guess I still need my phone here. It's really weird because this is like not dark at all in real life, but here's my big XBR 36 inch. It's huge. It's awesome. And yeah, it's right here. It's in the corner of my setup. And yeah, not much to say about it. Watch the video. I got it uh, for free and it was heavy as hell to get down here. It was not fun, but it's here, so now I can enjoy it, and it's awesome. And then here's my main Trenatron that I use just for all these things, and yeah, again, awesome. I have started to notice some geometry issues kind of cropping up. I don't know if I'm going to really bother. I guess I don't... You just have to let it not bother you, I guess. You just have to, you know, enjoy the games and not really think about the geometry. But it can be distracting sometimes. But I still really do like it, and I do recommend it. But Sony's are definitely a little harder to keep up with than the other brands, I will say. So, anyway, one more, should be one more transition here. But before we do that, we do have one little CRT here. This little Sony, I actually am, this one is for sale, but I'm kind of debating keeping it. It's a little 13-inch Sony RF only. Pretty cool, and it has the RF in the front too, which I have an Atari adapter on right now. But yeah, let's see the last of the CRTs. Well, actually, there might be two more transitions, but we'll see. All right, so these two. This is a little Toshiba 13-inch and a Sanyo 13-inch. And these are nothing special, and that is the whole point. So this is just, I know it's ridiculously cluttered right now. This is where, um, if you guys didn't know, I sell video games online full-time, and this is where I test the video games and the systems. So... Yeah, these are on a lot, especially the Sanyo is the main one that I really do use. This is just like if I want to have two things going at once. But yeah, these are on a lot during the day, and they work, and that's all they need to do. So, and they work. They're actually better than you would think, but anyway, there they are. Nothing's to say about them, and yeah, they're two CRTs. Let's go to the last area. One more random one. We got this GE... CRT that's on my Atari kiosk made a video on this Atari 400 kiosk Watch it and yeah, it's just a CRT from the time period and it works good Okay, so now we're in the back room of my basement and let's see, We have this little CRT let's See if I can get a little better lighting on this I just got this at the flea market maybe a month ago It's like one of my newer ones that I've gotten, but yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> a little Tote Vision. I guess that's the brand. Yeah, so really cool. Um, we got that, and then there's a Vetrex up there. That was just a part of the biggest video game collection I ever bought, and I'm unfortunate that I did not film that. It really would have been a cool video, but I've had it for a couple years now. So yeah, the Senka Vitrex. Don't mind all of this <laughs> video game stuff. Okay, so this is an IBM E74 monitor that I use to um, test computers. I know it's kind of stupid, but I really like it. The picture on it, it's pretty yellowed. I got it for free. Um, it was about to get recycled, but I was able to rescue it. So yeah, I might sell it one day, I don't know, but... 
I should probably do that with a lot of these. It's just hard to get rid of them, I guess, but yeah, it's a nice display. And one of the best finds I've ever had was this. And this is the last one, I think, unless I walk out of this room and see another one that I forgot to talk about. I'm sure we missed some, for sure. I'm sure that we did, but the whole point is to just show some of the CRTs that I do have. So this is a Sony KV-1311CR. And why it's cool is because it has RGB, and it's very old to have RGB. Um, this was a Goodwill find, again, probably like right when I started getting these things, like seven years ago probably. I think it was $10. It has the manual, the remote. They're back there. There's some laser discs on it too, but um, I got that, and it's awesome. But unfortunately, it uses a proprietary connector for the RGB, so I've never gotten to experience the RGB portion of it. But even without it, it's still cool, and I'm very grateful to have it down here in my collection. So yeah, I think that's the majority of the CRTs that I do own. Yes, I'm insane, <laughs> and that's fine, because I like them, and it makes me happy. So anyway, um, just keep collecting CRTs. If you're Obviously, if you made it this far, you must be somewhat interested in them. Um, it's really fun, and yeah, I'm going to keep looking for new ones, um, selling off old ones if I feel like it. And yeah, anyway, you guys enjoy your day, keep playing some games, and have, yeah, just have a great day. Bye.